Good morning. This is Steve Gladys, and this is Sunday AM. I do a video on Sundays usually, and this one is on collective intelligence. There's been a lot talked about in, in the world of teams about collective intelligence. And what collective intelligence is, is the intelligence of the team versus any, any individuals within the team. And the wisdom had been get the smartest people together on a team and that you can find on a particular subject and you should be able to beat anybody else. But you might want to tell that to the Russians uh, who lost to the United States team in 1980. Russians had, you know, the best, uh, the best team ever assembled. And we had a bunch of ragtag amateurs that ended up beating them. So it doesn't always work that way. In fact, there's a woman by the name of Anita uh, uh, Woolley, who's done a lot of work at the uh, at uh, um, Carnegie Mellon uh, University, showing that in fact, uh, w when, you, when you put together teams, you wanna make sure uh, that the teams have a lot of gender variety, and we'll show you in just a bit, um, and that they have uh, real sensibility toward other people. They can read other people's faces. They have a social uh, awareness that, that um, and those two factors together um, make their big difference in whether a team is successful. Let me show you what her research showed. It's pretty amazing. This comes from a Google presentation that she did. Um, and I wanna just show it to you quickly. Um, and what we have here and what, what we have is um, her, uh, her graph here. And if you look at it, all male groups tend to perform the worst. I think my wife could have told you that. <laughs> um, uh, solo females, uh, just a little bit better. And as you, you look, when when female, when you have at least 60%, this 60% is the 60, is majority female. When you have 60% of the group, uh, you have a, 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 a our women, you have a real uptick in performance. The greatest performance, interesting, is when you have all women and one male. Now, I don't know what that says, but it's an, it's amazing. But if you have all females, it drops back down to uh, back down to a very um, a very minimal amount. So, uh, two you know, sixty percent, two thirds women begins to really change the dynamics in terms of social intelligence, which I think is 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 uh, is amazing, uh, and I think also the solo man adds adds something to the group. <laughs> I don't know how much, but, but, and it's not tokenism really, it really, her research really shows that. So if you want collective intelligence, add women to the mix, absolutely add women to the mix, about 60%, and you're going to get much, a much smarter group decision. Um, anyway, this is Steve Gladys, um, humbly today, I might add, by looking at that graph, uh, wishing you a great Sunday and a great week. Have a good one. Take care.